Good day to you everyone, wherever you're watching or listening to me right now. I greet you and I bring you good, good tidings. My name is Desmond Funny Truth. If you love me about please hit the like button. If today is your first time coming to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Um, let's drop the comments below so we can keep the conversation going. And for all my returning subscribers, I thank you for always coming back to me. Thank you, I love you guys. You already know that I will be talking about six effective ways of dealing with haters. And I repeat, six effective ways of dealing with haters. Mm. Learning on how to deal with haters. This will free you from all negativity and cruelty in your life. Remember that they are only jealous. I have come to realize something. Most people speak up to something negative. When you are going the right direction, only few genuine people will sing your praise or compliment your effort. It's a sad world we live in. Making it necessary, we all learn on how to deal with haters and negative people. Mm. Social media has become a phenomenon. We can't do without Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. There was a time all these were not in existence. Social media is fantastic, there is no question about that, for so many reasons. But it makes it easier to bully, drag someone down, or simply give negative comments to who you can't physically confront. You guys have no clue on how simple negative comments has affected so many lives. So many people have died by committing suicide, depression, cause they have been laid down a slippery slope towards self-loathing. Now, how do we deal with haters? If you are dealing with negativity, either online or in person, please learn how to deal with haters and free yourself from their clutches of cruelty. It might be impossible to believe right now, but trust me, haters only hate because they are jealous. One, do not respond to their negativity. This is the hardest thing to do in this world. When you want to react to something, and you have to bite your tongue. If you want to learn on how to deal with haters in the most effective way, this is what you have to do. When you fail to respond to someone's cruelty, the power they intend to yield over does not exist. Walking away with your head high is the strongest thing you can do. It is hard. There is no question about that. But bite your lips, take a deep breath, and put one foot in front of the other. This will take me to number two. Block abuses 
from online sources. Most negativity appears online simply because they are a lot braver when they are hiding behind the keyboards or their cell phone. They wouldn't probably say these things to you to your face. If you are expecting online bullying or constant negative comments, you have the power to block them. Report them to the social media platform. There is a zero tolerance policy in place now for cyberbullying. Take advantage of that and learn how to deal with haters as a result. This takes me to number three. Be the bigger person. It might seem borderline impossible to be kind to someone who is being negative or cruel to you, but it winds them up. By being kind to everyone, even haters, you are the bigger person. You are refusing to sink down their level. It will also show that you are not affected by their words. But by reacting, you are giving them what they actually want. So, you have to rise above that. Be the bigger person and see how that annoys them. Let's go to number four. Know your support system. As much as the haters will hate, your true friends will always love you regardless. Know your support system and stick to them. You can absorb a lot of support and positivity from your true friends. And when this happens, the actions of the haters really doesn't matter. Knowing your support system always help you to cope when someone says something that affects you on a deep emotional level. Number five. Understand why haters hate in the first place. When you understand why people say and do nasty things, you will have the power to learn how to deal with them in the most effective way. This makes you learn quickly that people who do and say all these things are only reflecting back on themselves badly. What they say and do is a total reflection of them. It has nothing to do with you at all. You just happen to be the one they are channeling their negativity on as at that set time. And lastly, number six. Take the opportunity to check in with yourself. Some of us are caused with a natural desire to please everyone with our personal and professional choices. I have realized an important lesson that no matter what you do, people will always criticize your actions, decisions and personal life. The quicker you can embrace that, the better you will be. If everyone is happy with what you are doing, you are probably not doing the right thing. Embrace criticism. Uncomfortable moments are usually a sign that you are on the right path. 
just smile and know that you are doing the right thing. This is all I have for you on today's episode of Desma Funny Truth Gist. If you like what I'm about, please hit the like button. Coming here for the first time, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want more of this video, leave your comment below. Let's keep the conversation going. I love you all. Like I always sign out, catch you on another one. Peace out.